doing another wet fly here today. This one is the Governor. There's a couple of things um, about this fly that I find interesting. The floss tags I always very much like. I've done a number of flies with those in and, uh, and the peacock body I, I like. But I chose this one primarily because I've done a number of different wet flies with uh, turkey in the wing. And the turkey can be kind of difficult to deal with from the standpoint of knowing what turkey feathers to use. A lot of times the books, recipes, um, articles, or even videos where people are tying flies using turkey, whether it's say a muddler or a stonefly nymph or something like this, they just mention using turkey. Not all turkey feathers are, are uh, equal. So I've had a number of people who in the last number of videos that I've like I said, I've used turkey, have reached out to me asking particularly what feathers to use. So I'll talk a little bit about that today when um, I get into the wing. And then I'm still also doing some more research trying to find just the right feathers to use. That's the governor. I'll go ahead and get started. start the governor by placing my hook on the vise. This is a must-add 3399 number 8. I debarb the hook and I'm going to start with a white thread because the governor has a, a red tag in the back. Um, I'm going to start with a white thread. This is a Danville 6 aught in white. And that's just so that the red floss doesn't darken in the water. If it has a black thread under it, it'll darken when this is fished. Attach my thread about an eye length behind the eye of the hook. I'll run it down to just about the point of the hook. As I mentioned, the tag on this is a red floss. I'm using a Danville four-strand rayon and red, and I'm only using two strands. You could use a little bit more if you want it to be a little bit thicker, but really it doesn't have to be. One of the strands is not even used in tying this in. It's used for security. I'm going to attach that to the hook, and I want to keep it right on top of the hook shank as I wrap my thread back about six wraps. This will put me right between the point of the hook and the barb. Turn the hook over. I'm going to leave this one strand right here as a for security, which I'll show in just a second. And then the other strand of floss I will use and start wrapping down. You could actually keep wrapping down the hook shank if you want and just have one layer of floss for the tag coming back up. I like to go down and then come back up. It just makes it a little bit fuller. Sometimes if I'm tying a bunch of these to go fishing, I'll actually forego that step just to get them done a little bit quicker. So you go down about four or five wraps and then come back up. I'll trim this so that it is just the length of the body. Sometimes you'll get these stray fibers that get broken as you're wrapping in. Now, one thing you want to be careful of is, even though I had wrapped that down so it was right on top of the hook shank, in the process of wrapping my floss around to make the tag, the thread torque has pulled the end of that so that it is now on the side of the hook and not on top of the hook which would be fine. Again, if you're going to be fishing this fly, I think it would be just fine. This is for security. If you do not have anything there, these wraps of floss will actually get, eventually start to migrate their way down the bend of the hook and uh, lose their place. But what you can do right here is just pinch this and roll that floss back. 
so that now the floss is on top of the hook shank. Now I'm just going to fold this forward and I'm going to wrap in a couple of times and you'll see all that does is it just puts that one strand across the top and it adds some security so that now that floss won't come unwrapped as you're fishing the fly. Now the body is pretty straightforward on the governor. It is just some peacock curl. I'm using some strong peacock curl. I've got four strands selected. I'm going to get the butt ends, which is the white ends right here. I want to get those together and I'm going to trim those just so that I have maybe a little bit of the white appearing. And the reason is, is that that's going to get tied down to the hook shank and it'll be covered up. So I'll tie that in so that the butt ends are about the length of the body and then I'll wrap forward. Not that concerned about touching turns on my wraps here uh, just because the peacock curl is going to give it a little bit more of a bushier, rougher body. It, it doesn't have to be super smooth. I could wrap in the peacock curl right now if I want to and then change over to my black thread. I'm using a again Danville 6 aught in uh, black. I'm just going to go ahead and attach my thread right behind the eye of the hook, running my thread back about an eye length and trim away the tag of black as well as the white thread. Take my peacock curl and start to wrap that in. just about an eye length from the eye of the hook. Put in a few turns to secure that and trim away the excess. The governor is pretty straightforward in that the wing is made out of turkey. The hackle is a brown hackle that is uh, wrapped around the front as a collar, not necessarily tied in as a throat. Difficult part here is the turkey. If you use, a, it's a brown mottled turkey, like this right here, it, I'm certain you could use, you know, um, a flight feather, a primary feather or something if you want the, the lighter kind of gray and uh, black and gray. But the difficulty is if you use a turkey tail, which is the long, full, real wide uh, feathers. It's very difficult to get nice turkey slips off of that. And this is part of the reason why I chose to do this fly is um, I've done a number of different flies using the turkey and they can be kind of difficult. And I've had a lot of questions from people about the turkey and getting the right feathers. So I'm doing a little bit more research into this and looking at different turkey feathers for different flies because a lot of tires just say use turkey, a couple of turkey slips of right and left for the wing. That is wide open for interpretation. So these are actually the secondary tail feathers, not the, the primary long ones. These are the secondary tail feathers right here. And I'm going to use a, a slip cut from both the left and the right here. And I'll match those up. And here's, again, the difficulty with this. One, one of these is a little wider than the other. I'll fix that in a second. But as you can see, down where these are cut off, they're very wide, very full. But they taper very, very quickly out towards the end. Getting a nice taper on this wing so you get a really, really nice looking wing can be very difficult with the turkey. And that's what... Um, I'm basically looking into doing a number of videos on these and finding 
the the feathers to get that will give you that really nice looking wing instead of something that is quite so uh, abrupt and pointed as this. Now you can adjust these a little bit if they're off, which mine were, so that uh, the tips are, are even. Get those nice and evened up. And as you can see, that's kind of, that's awfully thin. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut some more out. And I'm going to cut these much thicker so that I have a little bit fuller wing. And you can see just how much thicker this is. This is what I had originally. And this is what I've just cut out. I've got twi almost twice as much here. And when you adjust that and get both of those matched up, you have a little bit fuller wing. So we'll place this on top. Your tail generally is only going to go just a little bit past the bend. But once again, to me, it's more important that I have a little bit fuller wing than the length of the tail. We'll place that up on top. And with a pinch and loop, draw that down and then tie that in to secure it. And that gives us a little bit nicer looking tail or wing I should say. Now I also save these, I've mentioned this in another video, I save these little cutoff slips because if you're ever doing any nymphs, uh, stonefly nymphs or anything like that, these are great for wing cases. Now I'm going to clean the head up here just to make certain I have space as well as a nice platform for the hackle. As I mentioned, the hackle is just a brown, I'm using a brown hen hackle. Uh, you could use a, a rooster hackle if you've got, uh, if you'd rather have something a little bit stiffer, but a brown hen hackle is all you need. I like the hen for the wet flies because it, I think it flows in the water a little bit better. I think it has a little bit more action to it. I'll strip away the long fibers down here that I really don't need. Taking my hackle pliers, I'll grab the tip. Stroking the fibers backwards. I will then make a nice little handle right here with the tip. Nice little triangle right there to tie in and anchor that hackle. Leave my thread right back where my first wrap is going to be. With that hanging there, it helps to, as the hackle is palmered forward and pushing against the thread, that thread helps to push it the opposite direction and kind of keep it from creeping up on the eye of the hook too much. Palmer this in with at least two, maybe three wraps. It depends on how full you want the hackle to be. For the sake of the video, I'm going to go with three, so it's a little bit fuller. I'll trim away the rest of that rachis. And starting at the eye of the hook, I'll move backwards to get the nice profile of the head of the fly. Cover up all those butt ends. Six or seven turn whip finish. And the governor is done.
a little bit of head cement on both sides. And then I'll come back with some black lacquer to smooth that up a little bit. That's the governor. Again, it's a pretty straightforward flight. Um, I like, there's a number of wet flies that have some floss back for the tag or the tip of the, uh, the wet fly. Peacock curl is always a great material for, for wet flies, uh, for any fly really for that matter. And uh, the turkey, keep working on that turkey a little bit, trying to figure out what feathers are gonna give me the right profile on that wing that I like, but that's the governor. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me at the Vice today. I hope you learned at least a new pattern, if not a new technique, maybe a tip or trick here and there. If you have any questions about this fly or any of the techniques used in constructing this pattern, please leave them in the comments section down below. If you go to the trouble to ask a question, I'll go to the trouble to answer it. If you'd like to help Dressed Irons, please share this video with your friends and anybody you think that might enjoy this pattern. Until next time, remember, it's fly tying. If you're not having fun, then you're doing it wrong. <music>